Hi, we're the Texas Craft Queens, and I'm Cassidy. And I'm Michelle. And today we're going to show you how to make these really cute little mug toppers. Yeah. Just for like your coffee bar, or hot cocoa bar, or I don't know if you have, but you yeah. know, decorative toppers. So let's go. Cheers. All right, so today we're going to be using the foam clay to make a cup topper and we've got some little pieces and bits here, pumpkins and some um, resin pieces that I made with a mold at home and then just some little fun clay bits here. So you kind of just grab you a chunk out of it, kind of get it into a nice little ball and then like your cup, we have these little foam pieces for ours right now to kind of get us a, a size because this is kind of about how how big we would want it, you know, so it'll set up there. And you can do this like for the, the metal tumblers and everything too. We just kind of had these and this what we thought would be kind of cute to make them. So like I said, you just kind of get your little ball. And then once you get a good ball, you kind of start forming the top of it to make it look like a little, you know, like a little whipped cream top on the top there. Get that little peak if going. I'm going to dye it, what do I... If you're going to dye it, go ahead and put your paint in. Just okay. a little bit of paint or mica or um, different things that you can dye it with. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. This doesn't say on here, but I know you can use like the acrylic paint. I'm you can use a pop of color. Shock paint, the berry brown. Yep. Micah's. Does a little bit? Does a little go a long ways? Yes, a little will go a long ways. And just kind of fold it in? Yep, just kind of like fold it in as if you were. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I used to bake cakes. Yep. So I know a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of form it how you want it. Get your little cone shape going on top. So, as you can see there, yeah. it doesn't have to be perfect. A little more. <laughs> Just get you the size and get you a starting shape. Do you have a popsicle stick? Um, yes, let me grab one and sit that right there. Mix it up. <laughs> and if you want to dye it like she's doing there, you'll want to wear gloves just to make sure you don't get that paint and everything stuck to your hands, keep your hands clean. Um, if you're just working with it as it comes, then you can see there's nothing transferring to my hands, so you're perfectly fine with um, out using gloves on just the plain white. I think the gloves makes it a little bit more sticky. <laughs> I like that color that's turning out for the theme you're going for on yours, yeah. though. It's looking good. Going for like some pure pumpkin spice. And just a little more. And it'll be perfect. And this foam clay isn't air dry. Um, you want to let it dry for about 24 hours after you're done with it, uh, before you mess with it and things like that, just to let it dry and set. And this foam clay we did get from Amazon, so you can get it there. They have different colors, so you don't have to mix. Um, oh, nice. But you can get just the white and make whatever color. Mm -hmm, about the size of your base. Just kind of get it formed on there. 
once you get the round about that size, then start working your kind of cone shape up to the top. That was a timer for another project we're working on. <laughs> yep. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but a good base shape is what you're wanting here because we're fixing to start making our little swirlies in it. Once you're happy with your shape, then you literally you just take a little bit of it and you pinch it together and you twist. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. And as you go around, you'll see the whipped cream kind of forming. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. And you can go different directions so that way all of your little waves don't go the same direction. You pinch and go one way, the next one you go the other way. Just however you want it to look. Just go around and try not to like squeeze it with your hand so you don't get your form or your shape out of out of shape on the bottom. And you can always you also put it on like an acrylic blank, acrylic circle and hold it onto that so that way it holds the shape as you're shaping around and forming it around. Right. You just kind of go around and add really your twists. Cream. Yeah. Kind of get it how you want it. Play with it. And if you don't like it, of course, just psh, smash it back together form your little cone again and do it again because it takes like I said 24 hours to set so you've got time to play with it redo it if you don't like it reform it reshape it all of that fun stuff Okay, kind of like it. that. After you get your shape, then you can go ahead and start adding your fun stuff, as Cassidy calls it. <laughs> I've got these, and I've already put some on a little plate here just so I have them, you know, ready to go. But yeah, you just start putting in the things that you want, where you want them. If you're using solid pieces, you'll want to make sure and kind of get it down in the clay. So that way it sets in there whenever the clay sets up so it'll hold it in. I think I'm gonna put that there. Let's see. I think we're gonna kind of set my little pumpkin up here. And let's put some pieces. these around in here and you just you know place things where you want if you wanted to mix up some epoxy you could do that too 
and like just kind of drizzle it over the top to make it look like chocolate drizzle. Um, you know, just whatever you want to add to yours, go for it. so that it shows up. And I almost put that one upside down, so if your, place, your pieces have right sides, make sure you put the right side up. <laughs> Get some purple stars in here. Gotta have purple. <laughs> Let's see. There's some of them. There, there. more on this side and then I'll turn it around and decorate some on the other side because don't forget it is three-dimensional so you want to make all the sides look pretty that way it's got some flare all the way around that guy a little more leaned over than I wanted him so stand him back up Let's see. Let's go with the purple. Orange star. Let's go. Let's go with a little mint green dot down here. them down in there so that way they stay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scoop these to the side. I'm going to open up another little bag. This one's got moons, yellow moons, and bats. And a little few different things in here. Try to keep them on their own sides so I can put them back in their bags. Feels like it's like setting. It will. It will start to get a little harder as it starts to air dry. But it's pretty pliable for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to overdo it, but... Let's see, I think I'm going to add so this cute. moon to this side. Oh, come back here. Yeah, this was new to me. I used to use spackling, 
in like a frosting bag and just <laughs> get stuff on it and let it dry. My moon doesn't want to stay where I want it to stay. It says, uh, no. But I'm persistent and hard headed. So we're going to keep going until it goes. And some people have used the like puff paint to add their drizzle on, so you can do that too. Yeah, I feel like that's what mine is, is a little chocolate. Some drizzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it looks pretty cute though. And after it sets, you can always take that and add it on there too with the puff paint. You can do it now. Um, you can do it with UV resin even. Lots of people have used that too. So lots of options. Like I said, your imagination is kind of your limit of what you want to do with all of these. Got the little pieces in it, got the front, got the back. So then you just kind of let it set. I'm going to take it off of here because I don't really want it to set to the styrofoam. So I'm just going to set it right here on this plate. And we will let that set for 24 hours. And then we will come back. And when we come back, we will show y'all what we've got. Alright guys, see y'all in 24 hours.